Hey guys, it's Zach with Aldeck, and today I'll be showing you how to use and manage different perspectives and favorites in Riviera Pro. Perspectives are configured interface that are composed of all the different windows and views. When working at different stages of the design flow, it is useful to have different views open, and these views can be switched to with ease through the changing of perspectives. We can find our perspectives at the bottom of the interface. We can see Riviera Pro has five built-in perspectives. We can get an idea of how each perspective changes how we interface with the tool. We're currently in the default perspective, which is composed of the editor, design manager, libraries, and console. It is these windows that will prove most useful in the beginnings of your design when you're first building your workspace structure and editing your HDL code. From here, we can actually move to the debug perspective. These interfaces can be changed either by going through the order or simply click on the desired perspective. In our debug view, we have quite a few different views available now. These windows will be useful during simulation and when you're debugging your HDL. From here we can see windows such as code breakpoints, stimuli aliases and slices, a variety of watch lists, and access to your design units and signals in the hierarchy and objects windows. If we move into the coverage perspective, Riviera will open up views that are relevant to coverage analysis. We have the FSM viewer, cover groups, coverage details, hierarchy, data sets, objects, and the console. Having these views open will give a pretty basic setup for performing any coverage analysis and is a good starting point when entering that step in the design flow. The console and documents perspectives are good for specifically using the console, such as reviewing console logs or working through command prompts, and the documents perspective is good for editing or reviewing any text documents. Now these were just built-in perspectives. They were built to provide the most likely windows one would want to access and observe during their perspective phases. It is of course entirely possible that you'd prefer a different setup during your design process, so we are able to create perspectives. Let's say we want to dedicate a perspective to functional coverage. I'm going to want to have cover groups, coverage details, assertions, covers, transaction streams, console, and maybe libraries open. Once I organize the windows to my liking, I can go to the bottom of the interface near the preset perspectives and click create perspective and then I'll name it functional coverage. I now have this set as a perspective and can access it from the interface. Now we can talk about favorites. Favorites are used to set and display select tools, macros, or any other user-defined command. At the bottom of the interface, we have the favorites toolbar right next to our perspectives. This creates a general toolbar where you can outline favorites that you'd like to have accessible at any time while working with a project. You can also define favorites in other specific windows. So in the console window, I can set favorites that I want to be accessible while inside the console. Some options when setting your favorites are print, shared, simulation, system, tools, windows, macro commands, and a separator to differentiate strings of favorites. You can select the icon that represents the favorite that, and give it a tooltip and description. If you are favoriting a command, you will also include the macro command. It is important to note that you can use the view.selection.get macro command to pass selection from the GUI to any tickle or Perl scripts that you're using. So if we go ahead and create a favorite to execute our macro command, we can name it how we like and give it an apt description. Then in the macro command section, we can add our command and click OK. At the bottom of our interface, the favorite has been added and we can use it by clicking on it. I have the unit under test selected in hierarchy, which will then be passed to my coverage script, where we'll generate a coverage report and open it. And I can do this with different selections in the GUI as well. Well, that's it for this video on perspectives and favorites. Thanks for watching.